Hello guys, Kepi Shameno here with a new video for Way of the Hunter and they just released the explanation trailer and uh, it, it looks really good. There is a lot of new info in the game. It's the last video that I'm going to make and I think the next one is going to be uh, when the release is here. Uh, so tomorrow we got the embargo that runs out. So what does that mean? You will see streams on Twitch. You will see a lot of videos from the content creators that already got access for a couple of weeks. So tomorrow you will see everything in the game. But this is already very good. So they explain a lot of things. I think that I know now a little bit. I listened already seven times to the explanation about the animals. So a lot of people always ask me, is this an arcade game or a simulator game? Uh, I think that I know now the answer. I think it goes a little bit more to simulator. Why? I will explain if we see the first part of the video. And then a little bit later, I will stop a couple of times too, if I see interesting stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, let's have a look to the video. If you guys want to see the video uh, yourself, I put a link under this video and then you can see it uh, by yourself. Uh, yeah, here we go. Generation hunting experience from developer Nine Rocks Games. It all begins here. A lodge owned by your grandfather, who taught you everything you need to know about hunting when you were young. These skills and more will be put to the test as you step in and run the family business for him while he takes a break, recovering from an illness. The game is set in two vast territories, each featuring 55 square miles of open world terrain. Experience the ancient hunting grounds of the Pacific Northwest. From elk and deer to waterfowl, from mountain to valley, the Pacific Northwest showcases diversity of challenge and the very best of American hunting. You also test your hunting skills in Transylvania, once one of the most popular hunting destinations for European nobility. It becomes your hunting paradise to track everything from wild boar to gray wolves. From the deepest forests to rolling plains, this territory is steeped in history. These remarkable landscapes are controlled by a sophisticated system that simulates the life cycles of two and a half thousand animals in the Pacific Northwest and another 3,000 in Transylvania, featuring a 24-hour day-night cycle and true-to-life flora and fauna. Way of the Hunter's realistic atmosphere immerses... Okay, guys, this is the first stop, and uh, in this f uh, first part, you guys already can see what, what they are saying. So, you got 2,500 animals in the American area, and you got 3,000 in the Transylvania area. So, they got a life cycle. So, I think, and I already saw that in other videos, so you get new uh animals and they can die too how fast it will go i don't know uh, so uh, i guess it's not real time of course uh, it, it goes a little bit faster but we need to check out how it goes because you can't sleep in your bed here so you can just go to the to the your uh, your house and to the lodge and just sleep in a bed and forward the time so that's already very cool so that's already one of the aspects how you can simulate stuff so the next thing they said the fauna and flora got like a day cycle too does that mean that we got seasons in this uh, game uh, that's a possibility too because she said it that it's in the cycle too otherwise she would not said it so i think that we we get spring summer we got fall and winter I'm not sure about that, but they, she said it in the video. So my guess is, how can this work? So you got a certain amount of animals. So that means there are always animals born. And there are always animals that die on natural cause. And of course, the animals die too, because we shoot them. So the first thing that I thought about was, okay, so that means... Uh, is it then an arcade uh, game? Is the animal always going to be at the same position? That depends. That depends where they respawn the animal and what kind of day cycle it's going to do. But my guess is it's not going to do the same day cycle than the animal that died. If that's the case, it's a simulator. If it is not the case and it comes just at the same position, it's going to be an arcade. But I don't think so. So how can I explain myself? So... You, you, you are searching for a certain animal, a wolf, 
a wolf is doing is feeding in the morning uh, he's sitting on that area because there is a lot of uh, praise that he can eat and you can just see okay he's coming there i shoot him he's now dead at some point the new wolf is going to come and he's coming probably on another area but once again he's going to be probably on an area where he got enough food so but it's not the same area that's what i think so and that's really cool that's really cool because you always need to go after the animal again if it is at the same position, what I don't think, because they start as small whelps and then they become a very big wolf, uh, it's another story. But of course, if it is a small whelp, we are not going to shoot it. Then you need to go to another position and get first the bigger wolf before you do it. So my guess is still, still, uh, yeah, just a little bit brainstorming. But my guess is that we are going to get more to a simulator. I don't think that I can make a video if you go to that position you can shoot 20 wolves and everybody sees that video i don't think that's going to happen so that was a little bit my thoughts very important what we saw here and uh yeah that's the first stop that i want to show you guys and the heart of the hunt like never before in way of the hunter you can follow the story or choose your own path in free play the adventure starts at Bear Den Ranch, where you'll acquire rifles and stock up on gear and ammunition to prepare for the hunt. It's your base where you'll work to supply ethically hunted meats to elite restaurants that require the highest quality standards. Clients from high-end local restaurants will reach out to you, and it's your job to bring home the game and pocket the cash. You can keep tabs on each order by accessing the objectives menu, where you can track markers, tasks, and jobs. In Way of the Hunter, you can choose from a wide variety of firearms, ranging from tried and trusted classics right through some of the most advanced contemporary sporting rifles on the market today. For every animal you hunt, there's a corresponding firearm. And say, for instance, the ideal weapon for hunting the roe deer is a Tier 4 rifle. There are six firearms tiers, starting with shotguns at Tier 1 and going up to Tier 6, which are the highest caliber firearms. Choose from the best officially licensed hunting gear available, from leading manufacturers including hunting rifles from Remington Firearms, Primo's Calls, the Bushnell Prime 10x42 binoculars, and ammunition from the likes of Remington and Federal. You can store all your gear back at the lodge or in the trunk of your car. The things that I saw in this, uh, in this uh, part is that you can free play at the start, that's really good, or you can follow the story. So that I like a lot. Uh, I'm probably going to follow the story a little bit because I'm a little bit a noob uh, in hunting games. Another thing that I saw and that's, uh, that I see that a lot coming back in hunting games that is, uh, uh, is like that you need to use a certain weapon for a certain animal. So I guess that you not use a very heavy weapon for a small animal and shoot it in pieces. It's like ethical uh, hunting, I guess. This is a little bit the same in this game. What I saw was that there are six tiers in weapons from one to six. Uh, so the first one is the shotgun. Another thing that I saw and I read the, the missions. The missions are very cool. I like the mission aspect in this game a lot. So I saw a mission in the video. They are asking for meat from a bear. And uh, yeah, then you need to deliver that. And I was thinking, is there going to be something like a reputation system? So if you do missions and you do them good, that your reputation goes up and you get better missions or something. Because that's not really clear. But this is already good. It's not only hunting and getting trophies in the trophy room and just level up. And, and get money and buy other gear. No, I like this aspect a lot. That you can do something with the meat. That you can make money with the meat. And then you have to go further in the, the game. So that was really cool. Let's continue and let's watch uh, further the video. Hey, the hunter, there's more than one way to hunt game. You'll need to explore and gain a deep knowledge of the terrain to understand where animals are at different stages of their day. Learn their habits, their habitats, and where they eat, drink, and sleep. There are dozens of animal species, each modeled with realistic behaviors. For example, if a deer hears you running or trampling through brush heavily, it's easily spooked. Play smart and be light on your feet. 
to track game, keep your eyes peeled for signs of life on animal paths, such as footprints, droppings, and urine. To assist you, stand still and use the Hunter Sense feature, which highlights important elements in the environment. Of course, for a real challenge, you can play without Hunter Sense or customize. Okay, so uh, we had a lot of info once again. So it once again, they said that you need to learn the animals, how they uh, live in the day. And that's how you can find them. Uh, so they eat, they drink once again, they run around and, and they do strange stuff. And if you figure that out, the behavior, you will become a very good hunter. You can spook animals too. That's normal, I think. You cannot run around like a, an idiot and shouting stuff in uh, in the, the forest. Another thing that I saw is the hunter sense that you can use. Uh, you can follow traces. Uh, that's a little bit the same like in the Call of the Wild. And then I wanted to stop here. So I already said that I think in my uh, video about the questions and answer. But if you want to go a little bit more hardcore, now we can see what you can put off in this game. So you guys can see here, binocular identification, you can put it off. Uh, interaction, highlighting, you can put it off. Uh, the bullet impact position, you can put it off. Uh, bullet impact distance of bullet impact energy, you can put it off. Then dropping identification, so that means the traces that they just showed, you can put that off too. Uh, blood prints identification, so you can put almost everything off here. I'm going to forward a little bit now because she's going to scroll down. Or customize the elements that'll be highlighted in your world to your preference. So here you can see, here we got the footprint identification, sound cues identification, and decreased animal position. So decreased, deceased, uh, deceased animal position. So uh, you can see it here, and I guess you can just put it on, or you can put it off. Maybe there is something in between, but I don't think so, because you guys can see here, now it's on, and it's right off this, uh, yeah, this line, and I think off is the other uh, way around so that was it a little bit so for the guys that want to go hardcore you can put almost everything off what is here too the video controls control and audio of course is here too so this is the settings that you can use now we are going to look a little bit further to uh yeah the next part of the video successful hunters must use all of their abilities and senses you can play the waiting game hunker down stay silent and listen out for sounds of life Use hunting stands to watch out for animals to feed, water, or simply break cover. Callers can lure your target closer, but be careful. If the game catches wind of your scent, they'll be alerted to your presence and may move away. Now, however you choose to hunt, big game, small game, or birds, and whichever firearm and gear you use, you must be aware of your hunting pressure on the animals. If you hunt too often in the same zone, the animals feel your pressure and move on to another area. Once you've tracked the game you're looking for, the moment of truth draws close. Use binoculars or your scope to determine the distance, ballistics, and shooting range. Once you're 100% confident, line up, take a deep breath, and... It's a clean shot that's pierced at least one lung. If an animal's lethally wounded but still moving, Use hunter sense to track it and complete the hunt ethically. Place a marker on the spot where the animal was hit and investigate for blood tracks. Pink blood and bubbles means the lung was hit. And now you must end the hunt. When you take a successful shot, you're presented with the shot review screen. Bullet cam shows detailed information about the hunt and how and where you can improve next time. It's important for hunters to only take the cleanest shot possible to eliminate suffering for the animal. That's the way of the hunter. Back at the lodge, you can display trophies from success. In this part, we saw a couple of things. So it's not the watchtowers that they call it. It's the hunting stands. They got callers in the game. Uh, so that's good. I don't think that they are going to get like tents in the game already. And then something that I didn't like in Call of the Wild. So pressure zones. They got it here too. I was hoping that they don't have it in this game. Uh, but the thing is, how does it work? So if you shoot too many animals in a certain area, you cannot find any more animals in that area. Uh, I, I didn't like that a lot because... 
sometimes it took some time to find a certain animal and uh, it was really strange so you had like 10 deers you shot two and then all of a sudden you cannot find any more in that area uh, the deers they were all gone and that was not fun uh, but yeah they got it in this game too and then you got the bullet cam uh, you can see the, the penetration damage that you got, uh, what you hit and all that stuff. So now the last part and they are going to show the trophies I think and then it's the end of the video. It's depending on the animal's fitness and age. Animal habitats consist of groups that share a common average fitness value which you can alter in two ways. Hunting low trophy score males will drive up the fitness value of the habitat. While hunting high score males that are better for the gene pool will pull it down and produce lower quality trophies over time. The more you explore the Pacific Northwest in Transylvania, the more areas you'll open up. Some regions have restricted access and you'll need to get permission to hunt on them by purchasing access or taking on jobs. To navigate the vast world of the way of the hunter, you can use a variety of tools, including objective markers, fast travel and vehicles you can drive store equipment in and customize. You can also team up with friends or other hunters and venture out into the wilderness together to work as one. A new world of hunting awaits. Welcome to the way of the hunter. Coming soon to PC. The last part of the video and uh, yeah, I need to say that uh, that uh, breeding uh, finesse system, it looks really cool. So what, what the lady said is that you can manipulate the animals that you get at some point a lot of very good trophies or only good trophies. So she said if you kill like the, the low average trophy animals and you let live the very good trophy animals and they breed, the chance is bigger that you get very good trophy animals. So you can manipulate uh, the animals that you shoot at. It's, it's not an easy system. I'm wondering how you can do that because they die too. So you need to watch it so that, that the animal is not dead because if you are making a system that you got like at some point a lot of very good animals and then they die, you can start over again. But that's really cool, that system. Another thing that I saw, so how can you unlock new areas? It's not only with the pass that she said. You can do it by experience and you can do it with jobs too. Uh, so it seems if you take a mission, at some point they are probably going to say you need to go to that area, it's my land or something, and you can do that job over there, and then you got access. I think it's going to be something like that. And then another thing that I saw, it seems that you can customize your car. I'm not really sure how that is going to work. I don't think that you can make a supercharger from your car. I guess it's going to be paint a little bit or the color or tires or something. But at the end, a lot of good info, guys. I'm getting yeah, some serious hype uh, for this game. I think there is a lot of info in this video. I try to explain everything in the video. And I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget tomorrow. Uh, embargo stops once again. Check out the videos, check out the streams, and uh, I see you guys later. Bye bye.